Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris Erica and I'm a doctor of pharmacy who's passionate about preventive medicine and cell care. And as you all know, Ontario has recently expanded its eligibility criteria for the second booster against the COVID-19. And so anyone who is at least 18 years or older has now the option of getting their second booster provided it's been at least five months since they've gotten the first booster. And that's essentially the majority of the population. And just like anyone else who is young and healthy, I asked myself the question, is it more prudent to get the second booster now or wait for the bivalent version in the fall? So in this video, I want to share with you my own second booster experience and my rationale as to why I decided to get it sooner than later. So. All of my first three vaccines have been Pfizer and this week we managed to get in some Moderna and lo and behold I got Moderna for my second booster. So it's actually been oh, it's been about half an hour since I got in the shot and I don't feel the soreness yet on my left arm like I used to. So, and um, first time getting Moderna, no reaction whatsoever so far. So I'm pretty happy with that because I know that Moderna is slightly more effective than Pfizer. Anyway, look at these flowers. Looking really nice. Look at that. So the first 12 hours were fine. Um, my left arm was just a lot more sore the next morning uh, but despite that I was still able to cook uh, breakfast and eat my favorite crabs you know and we know that eating crabs takes a lot of effort um, and then first few hours at work were also fine but then uh, later in the day I was I felt a little tired and um, kind of feverish I feel hot I felt hot <laughs> but then the next day after that, you know, uh, fever during the night or during the day, I, I was back to normal, you know. Left arm wasn't sore at all. Um, was able to work go, to go to work, no problem. And yeah, and was even able to play some tennis the next day as well, which is great. So now let's move on to my rationale as to why I decided to get it sooner than later. Here are the top five factors that I use to make my decision. So the number one factor is your environment, both work and home. Because I work in a pharmacy where sick people go all the time, I'm much higher risk of getting the infection um, at work. And because I live with people who are at higher risk of complications when they get the infection, um, it just makes sense. made sense to me to get the protection now rather than later especially that now that we're in the seventh wave uh, notice you know the positivity rate has gone up I've been getting a lot of phone calls to recommend you know what's the best cough medicine sore throat remedy and other cold symptoms lately so and I find that people have been canceling their booster appointments either because they tested positive or someone in their household tested positive. So strong evidence that we are indeed in the seventh wave. Which brings about the second factor that you need to consider is you know how prevalent is the infection in your area. If there is a high transmissibility of the virus, the benefits of you getting the vaccine now is much higher than waiting in the fall. Regardless if you're healthy, young, and have gotten your first booster. Especially if it's been more than six months since you've gotten the first booster. Because we know that immunity against symptomatic infection kind of wanes after six months. Third factor that you need to consider is the safety of the vaccine. We have a lot of real-world data that shows COVID vaccines are safe, whether it be your first, your second, your third, or your fourth dose. So there's no harm really. Um, other than the fact that it's inconvenient, you know, you get a sore arm the next day, you may be want to play sports the next day uh, in my case it didn't really matter because it was too hot to go outside and play tennis so i didn't really miss out the fourth factor that 
I sort of thought had to think about was the uncertainty of the bivalent version in the fall, right? In terms of eligibility, the timing, and the efficacy. We don't know exactly when it's going to be available for us, especially for the young and healthy people. They're probably just going to prioritize the, the, the vulnerable population first, so the immunocompromised, um, the, el the elderly. So it's probably going to be late December or early next year where you're going to be able to get your that um, booster in the fall, which puts those people, young people, um, and other healthcare providers like me a year out since their first booster and we don't have efficacy data um, a year out or at least a year between doses. So also the current bivalent uh, version of the booster is actually tuned into the BA1 and the wild type strain of the virus and guess which strain is driving the cases up right now? It's the BA5. So we don't really have uh, evidence that the current bivalent product will be a better or more effective than the wild type or the original COVID vaccine. Finally, getting it now versus waiting for August or September will put you about three months um, come November, which is the minimum required for you to get uh, a booster anyway. So. Getting it now won't really disqualify you from getting um, the bivalent version in the fall. So it's just perfect timing to get it now than wait in August or September. The last factor that you need to consider is past infection. Um, if you've gotten COVID recently, it's best to wait two to three months before getting your booster because we know um, you get better immunity that way. And... Uh, I haven't gotten it thankfully in the past three months, so I uh, decided to get the second booster. So all these five factors, again, you know, um, let's review it. <laughs> Your environment, work and home, the transmissibility of the virus, safety, the uncertainty of the bivalent version in the fall, and, you know, past COVID infection. Um, all those five factors helped me solidify my decision to get it now. Um, rather than wait in the fall and i hope you find this video helpful and if needed you can have an informed discussion with your healthcare provider it's actually been seven months already since i've gotten the first booster and and i'm i'm really hoping that the second booster will will help somehow finish my transformation that i've been hoping for and become you know the strongest zombie ever <laughs> um i haven't got an extra lane binder i wanted the third eye kind of like vincent um um a full signal still um kind of crappy you know no 5g and because i've gotten more side effects this time I think it's a sign that you know it might be working this time. It's uh, it's only been a few days, so it's gonna throw if it's working or not. But I'll update you as soon as I made some progress.